What's up, YouTube? Knife Crazy here. I have a Koenig for you today. This is a mini goblin. I'm gonna kind of show you the presentation, what the box looks like, and all that. I ain't gonna spend a whole lot of time on that. I generally just kind of say, okay, here's the box, this is what you get in it, and let's move on with life, you know? <laughs> Nobody really too much cares about the box, so. Um, there's your information on the end. That's it. Okay. Open it up. It's a little magnet flap on the front. Got your birth card here. 12, 10, 19, M390, Mini Goblin. There's a Koenig sticker back here in the back. Can't see it, but it's there. All right. You also get a little, little white with it. Microfiber cloth, whatever you want to call it. All right. And that's it. So, nice box, nice presentation. If you're into boxes, you know, I keep all my boxes. I don't care if they're cardboard or what they are, but, you know, but that's a nice box, you know. That's something that, you know, I mean, you could set it up and put the knife up on top. It's kind of nice, you know. Anyway, all right, moving on to the knife. What you have here is the Koenig Mini Goblin. USA Made Blade Exclusive, Okay. What makes it their exclusive is, obviously, it's exclusive to USA Made Blade. <laughs> uh, this is the only place you can buy it, is what I'm meaning. All right, so what they've done different with this model with the, of Mini Goblin is for USA Made Blade, they have DLC, black DLC coated everything, okay? All the hardware, all the scales, the back spacer, the clip, and you can see this DLC, especially this kind of flat DLC, it loves your hand, uh, you know, hand oils and and all that. You can see even that clip, I just wiped it. Now that kind of uh, likes fingerprints and, and sweaty, you know, like your hands is warm, it's cold outside, it's gonna leave little marks on it, stuff like that. So just, you know, be aware of that. Um, but everything's black, so kind of cool. But then that, uh, just an added feature on the blade it has the polished flats and the uh, burnished, um, the rest of the bait is, is called burnished. So you can see that up close, let's see. Kind of really see what that looks like up close. There's the M390. kind of really showing off the, uh, I mean, this isn't a, oh, it's a mini goblin review. Um, I've owned, one, owned um, one mini goblin before. It was the carbon fiber one. Um, it was real nice. I, uh, I was chasing something else, so I decided to let that one go. I kind of regretted it the whole time, you know, uh, letting it go. And it's been gone now probably for over a year or so. And, and I, I saw this come out, um, I just kind of, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger and get me another one, you know? So, gotta have one sitting around. But it, uh, look at this action. I mean, that, that sound, that's a, it is a great, great opening sound. But it is, um, I'm gonna move this. This is the logo. All right, there you go. If you never heard of USA Made Blade, there you go, usamadeblade.com. Go check them out. Buy, you know, lots of knives made in the USA only. So I'm going to roll this up. I don't want all the, the busyness back behind the knife taken away from the, the look of it. But uh, you stay tuned for, I mean, it, it might not be this weekend or nothing like that, but I am definitely going to do a comparison video of these two guys here. All right. That, when I when I first saw this, I immediately thought of the Mini Goblin um, because of the way the Warncliffe blade was angled upward. Obviously, the uh, half track is, let's make it straight. This one kind of straight. But you can tell, you know, half track is definitely a little, little more angled up. But I really, 
it really had that feel and that look as, as the mini goblin. But you can tell it's a little mini goblin is definitely a little bit a little bit longer. I'd say maybe a half inch. Just don't have all the exact specs right in front of me for both of them, but yeah, that's what it seems to be. If I line the pivots up, the blade might be a quarter of inch longer and the handle might be about a quarter of inch longer. So that's, that's not much. Kind of give you the idea of what it looks like. But I'm but the reason why I brought both of these out here is I just let you know, I mean, USA Made Blade has been killing it with the exclusives. Because both of these, if you like Warren Cliffs, both of these are exclusives only to them. So, um, it just, I got this one. This this is the last one I got. And this and I just got this in uh, actually late yesterday afternoon. So, um, I don't know, just been, they, they've been killing it, USA May Blade, with all the different uh, exclusives and all that kind of stuff. So keep up the good work over there. But anyway, I just wanted to show really the action. I mean, look at that. There's the centering. The opening sounds just... It has a real good crack, swack, whatever you want to call it. Just Flipper tabs on them are... I mean, if this is the first time you've ever seen a mini goblin, then, you know, I'm gonna go over it just a little bit with you. I ain't gonna get crazy detail. But they got very small flipper tabs. Let's take a peek at the uh, half track again. Kind of give you a little comparison. All right, there's the difference. But the, it is just so, the D10 is so strong on it and it's just so dialed in that it don't need but that little bit of flipper tab. I mean, that's, that's all it needs. And it just, boop. <laughs> this this is one of those knives that you will have already done all last night i literally sat there watching tv and just flicking it wife is probably about crazy by now <laughs> all right well anyway i i did that like i said i'm gonna actually do a full comparison video of the half track and the koenig uh, I'm not going to do one of those, oh, I'm going to pick the winner kind of guy. I'm just kind of going to go over the positives, maybe some negatives of, of each one. and kind of give you makeup. If you were out there going, you know, man, I'd really like to have one of them, but I can't have both. Um, right now, which one do I get? That's kind of what I'm going to go over. Um, you know, just you got to think about what's going on and how, what kind of knife person you are of which way you would go with these two right here. Okay. So stay tuned for that video. That'd be coming no, you know, soon, soon. All right, so there was a comparison of that. Let's pop out another hinder. There's your size comparison. That is the XM18 three inch. Um, and uh, all of these knives that I'm showing you that I'm comparing it to them with is uh, available at USMA Blade. They, yeah, they sell all these. These are all USA knives, hinders, Chris Reeves, things like that. All right, I'm not saying this exact model is there, but they, they sell that brand. All right. Now that's the 3.5 inch warning. So let, let's pull out the three inch again. Oh, let's pull a different three inch. All right, let's pull him out. There's the difference. So definitely closer to the three inch size, definitely larger there. Um, what else? Let's do Sabenza 21. Pivot to pivot. All right, that's a 21. It would be, I think the uh, small Sabenza would be probably a little bit smaller than the Koenig, um, actually. I love that baby. <laughs> There's a video on that if you want to see the details of it. Uh, but that's it. That's about all the size comparison I'll whip out for you. But it give you an idea of, you know, the, the, the size of it. All right, here's in my hand. All right. It has a forward choil, really wouldn't call it a, kind of like the uh, half track. Half tracks is definitely larger. You can get a, a good point, a good, your pointer finger kind of in there. You wouldn't go, like with me, I can't go real deep into it because that's going to get right on that cutting edge. But you can kind of get your tip of your finger in it. Um, but on this one, this is mainly a sharpening choil, okay? Your finger, your hand is meant to be here, right at that jimping. But I can get all four fingers on it just like I can the half track. So, there it is. 
But uh, yeah, I just want to show it off. Like I said, I, went, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of terrible time, you know, actually trying to review the, the Koenig um, in full details. But just want to really show off the actual exclusive part of it of uh, being um, uh, USA Made Blades new new color style and all. But to give it real real quick, if you want it, uh, overall length seven point two five inches, closed is four point two five, blade length is three inches. Blade thickness, uh, 0.156, uh, anything else, anything else? Weight, that's a good one, 3.7 ounces, all right? Obviously made in the USA. So that's about it. Wanted to uh, show that off. And if you want one, you, uh, like I said, you're going to have to go to right there. USA Made Blade exclusive. Go check them out. Pick you up one. Today is Saturday, the 21st of 2019. I don't know if you can get it before Christmas this late, but maybe. Uh, might be an express ship option or something like that you can click on. So, or email them. They might, uh, Scott will work with you any way you can. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great day.